and it has gotten to the point that the man or the woman has arrested the man, taken him to a police station. They have abused each other on the pages of newspaper and everything. And they, they, they are now saying we have differences, yes. But after all said and done, do you foresee in the nearest future a reconciliation that will, of course, blot out all the grievances or the misgivings or the reservations? Do you think that a genuine reconciliation is still possible in this crisis? You know, politics is not like family uh, distant. <laughs> in uh, politics, at times, one hour is a long time to affect a change or mend fences. Okay, for instance, people who heard that Funyilola had been reinstated by the court, maybe about 48 hours ago. Okay? Today is not the same conception they had then that they are having now. Just to tell you that actually, you know, politics is more or less the most volatile things you can think about. It's very possible if today, and I'm saying it, if today Mr. President hold meeting with those seven governors, because they still love their party, and say, okay, yes, I've listened to you, I've done this also. Once he does, he says something that is okay, it will trickle down to the party and uh, things will be okay and again. We raise whatever but we, it is. Not, we can't afford to lose seven governors okay. from Let our party. It's not possible. And okay. when you now see that those governors control the states with good voter strength, like in the South South, the, the, the largest vote comes from rivers. Two million votes during the presidential election, the last one. Okay? Then up North Kano, which is even Christian as the, the, the largest state in Nigeria. How they came about that figure, I don't know. But uh, you know, but by voter strength, this is the we can't afford to lose this to APC okay. or whatever party they call themselves. Or right. whatever Thank you, sir. Name. But that's yeah. a quick reminder because yeah. uh, we remember the entire Southwest, uh, specifically Ogun State, was lost to the opposition just because the PDP had issues that went overboard. And that's At why we time, must mend our thank you so. And not uh, replicate it on a national uh, yeah. scale even. Thank you, sir, for coming on the program. Thank we you. appreciate your time. Thank, thank you. you for coming on the program. We have been talking to Sir Kayo De Otitoju, who is a ch PDP chieftain, and he was trying to bear his mind on some of the issues uh, affecting the party, uh, the PDP. Thank you very much for joining us. The rest of the show continues uh, with our very last interview. Stay with us.